Welcome to the Open Vehicle Sketchpad tutorial sessions. My name is Brandon Leatherland of the NASA Langley Research Center Aeronautics Systems Analysis Branch. We're going to begin with getting started. How to download and run Open Vehicle Sketchpad and become familiar with the controls inside the window. You want to begin by going to openvsp.org. This will take you to the Open Vehicle Sketchpad landing page where you can find information on recent posts regarding version release information information such as additions and things that have been fixed with the latest release as well as a short description of how to operate the new releases. Uh, you'll also find information on the VSP hangar which is a library of working VSP3 and VSP2 models available for free. Uh, information on our annual workshop, the development team, how to get started and learn more. What we're really interested in right now however is the download link. Now, Clicking on this link will take you to the download page where you'll find Windows and Mac OS version release files. Now, you have access to VSP2 and VSP3 for both Windows and Mac OS. For everything that we're going to deal with, as well as many advanced topics, we'll be using OpenVSP3. So clicking on this link will download a compressed file, which you can extract with WinZip or 7-Zip, or whatever your favorite file extraction software is. Inside the downloaded folder, you'll find Airfoil Components, Custom Components, MATLAB Scripts, VSP Scripts, and Textures, as well as the DLL files necessary to run the applications. VSP is the application that we'll actually use. However, a quick mention, VSP Script is a non-graphic user interface build of VSP. So if you want to run VSP in batch mode, say from a server, to perform many operations at once, you can absolutely do that. VSP Aero is a Vortex Lattice Solver written by Dave Kinney out of NASA Ames that's used in partnership with OpenVSP. That's used for solving for aerodynamic properties of lifting bodies. We'll go into much greater detail in that in a later video. VSP Viewer is a way to visualize the differential pressure gradient across a lifting body. And that goes along with VSP Aero. Now that we have a working window, we can see the XYZ coordinate system in the bottom left of the screen and an empty component set in the geometry browser window. Because when we ran the application, we effectively told the software that we wanted to create a new model. So we can become familiar with the controls inside OpenVSP, we're going to open the Open File dialog box. Now here, you can see that you can quickly navigate within the directory on your computer, or you can actually type in whatever path you want to go straight to it. Another thing that you can do is add favorites to your VSP working path. So for example, I have all of my aircraft already saved in one folder and I can jump straight to it. So what we'll do is open a low resolution version of a Cessna 337 just so we can get familiar with the operation of the controls in OpenVSP. Now, as you can see, you can rotate, pan, and zoom the model inside the three-dimensional workspace. And you can do that by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse for rotate, hold down the right mouse button and move for pan, hold down the center mouse button or the scroll wheel and move forward and back to zoom out and in. Now if you have a single button mouse, you can again perform these same operations. By holding down the mouse button and moving the mouse, you can rotate. By holding down control, and moving the mouse forward and back, you can zoom out and in. And for Mac, that same works with Command. And then holding Alt and moving the mouse wheel will pan. Now that we have a familiarization with the workspace, the next video will discuss an introduction into the menu bar and the geometry window. I'd like to pay a special thanks to J.R. Glutemann and Rob McDonald. They are the primary developers of Open Vehicle Sketchpad and put in a lot of work. I uh, hope everybody will join us in the next video where we'll move on to more advanced topics.